The story of P.K. Shropin Summary Sources of Stories in Cambodia A Modern Genre of Romantic Novels Author New Hatch Composition Deadline in 1947, published in 1949 Khmer Rouge Movement Atmospheric Society, the story takes place during the French colonial period. The protagonist of this story shows the broken love life of two young men and women caused by caste discrimination, value of wealth more than honor. Gathering the story of Bun Do Un and his lawyer's sincere problems, traditional love, love under the pressure of wealth, love under the influence of religious beliefs, greed for Nuan Nuan's wealth. Summary Flowers How sad! These three words are the name of a novel by New Hatch, a Khmer writer in the 20th century. If we know that our national writers like to compare women to flowers, we can easily understand that flowers are without a doubt women suffering. Khosropan is a tragic love story of young Bun Do Un, a student at Priya Sisawa Secondary School, and a young lady, a rose lawyer in Batambang. The love between these two sad couples did not happen by chance or by heart and mind, but the parents of both spouses have cultivated this love since childhood. The lawyer, Nuan Nuan's favorite bride, lives in what poor non village, Batambang City. Her father, who used to love her and take her to Bunthoyun, has passed away. Today, in her house, apart from her and her mother, who is a little older, there is only one servant who is older than Nuan. The servant's name was Ye Fei. Ye Fei loves and admires the lawyer very much, he is happy or he is worried about the change in the face of all the lawyers. Bun Do Un, her lawyer super sweetheart, also lives in Batambang province, but far from the city arrive at Kampong Priya village. Today, all the parents are still alive, Chuck Bunt Han, who runs a rice business, loses money every year. This year, he has fallen into poverty. His wife and daughter, Sifo and Chia, worked hard to save money to pay off their debts while Chuck Bunthorn borrowed money to buy rice and was in danger of drowning in the middle of the tunnel sap. Bun Do Un, a son, returned to his hometown on vacation and begged his father to stop going to school because his family's situation was deteriorating and he had to stay home to help his parents. Bunthorn, a good father, does not allow his children to drop out of school. He explains to you only if you are willing to go to school on his orders. Save money to pay off debts When Chuck Bunthorn borrowed money to buy rice, he was in danger of drowning in the middle of the Tunnel Sap River. Bun Do Un, a son, returned to his hometown on vacation and begged his father to stop going to school because his family's situation was deteriorating and he had to stay home to help his parents. Bun Thorn, a good father, does not allow his children to drop out of school. He explains to you only if you are willing to go to school on his orders. Save money to pay off debts When Chuck Bunthorn borrowed money to buy rice, he was in danger of drowning in the middle of the Tunnel Sap River. Bun Do Un, a son, returned to his hometown on vacation and begged his father to stop going to school because his family's situation was deteriorating and he had to stay home to help his parents. Bun Thorn, a good father, does not allow his children to drop out of school. He explains to you only if you are willing to go to school on his orders. Since it was clear that Chuck Bunthorn's family had fallen into poverty and poverty, Nuan tried to explain to her son Vithavi to give up his love for Bun Do Un. The lawyer is very upset with her mother, but she does not dare to say anything that can lead you to condemn her as an ungrateful woman. She misses Bun Do Un day and night. One day, 14 months ago, Soyat Bunthoen visited Batambang and took the opportunity to meet with the lawyer for a while. The young lady gave Bun Do Un a photo as a souvenir and instructed Bun Do Un to study hard to achieve the results and promised that she would always wait for Bun Do Un. Now the new school year has arrived. Bun Do Un also entered Sisawa Secondary School. While Bun Do Un was opening a textbook, Nuan forced her lawyer to marry Nai Soth, the son of Nai Shan, a wealthy man in Batambang province. The lawyer hates Nai Sut and she is angry with her mother, 
but she is not brave and stubborn with her mother. She wrote a letter telling Bun Doeun about this and announced that she would not marry any man other than Bun Doeun. Young Bun Doeun sent a letter to beg the lawyer to agree to marry young Nai Sof because he is rich, he can easily find happiness for his family. Took Nabin Doeun despite her pleas, the lawyer refused to comply with her mother's wishes because she knew that Bun Doeun loved her very much. The picture has come. Every day, the lawyer cries incessantly. Her body was getting thinner and thinner, so Nuan took her to visit Angkor in Siem Reap to stay at the house of the ghost friends of her husband, Mr. Bing Chun and Miss Si Mara. To see Angkor Lor Vache, as well as to see the old hut, the lawyer did not smile at all. When she saw a large Buddha image, she lit incense and prayed for God's help to free her from the clutches of Nyasuti. Praying to God, not yet out of the mouth, suddenly Nyset, the car arrived and walked to stand next to her immediately. She was very angry and sick. Fever lawyer for a few days in Siem Reap. Nuan saw her child was very sick and brought her back to her hometown. As the wedding day drew to a close, the lawyer's condition worsened. Ye Nuan and Niang though, the mother of Nyasut, went to invite prophets, demons, and teachers to come and water. The fever remained the same. Speaking of Bun Doeun, the young man misses the lawyer all the time, but he endures the grief so that his girlfriend will be happy and prosperous. On the occasion of the new year, you return to your hometown to visit the forest with Tasso and many other men and women to relieve their suffering. The villagers of Kampong Priya enter Prey Ronam to find honey, while Bun Doeun enters Prey Ronam to get rid of chest pain caused by life. When you return from Prey Ronam, after fighting for victory over the thieves, you say goodbye to your parents to visit Batambang. Walkers to Wat Put in suddenly see the crowd, young and old. When you enter, you suddenly see a photo of the lawyer next to the coffin. The lawyer is dead. She died because of a love crisis. The deceased lawyer left a ring and a letter to Bun Doeun as his girlfriend. This is the end of the story. Reading this flowers, I was very impressed by New Hatch's writing. In addition to the words that are dignified and have a lot of meaning, the story of P.K. Srepin has shown us the customs, beliefs, and actions of some of the monks in our country, which we recognize as true stories in the life of Cambodian society.